Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Mega Rant, teacher, rapper, hero. I am live in Zia, and I want to play you a new song from my new album that's coming out this fall. It's called Live 95. Now, if you're a sports fan, you'll dig it. If not, I hope you'll still dig it. It's a little bit of my biggest inspirations of that time period where I, I learned so much. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Live 95. Welcome to 1995. Yeah, yeah. My hero wore a blowout on the cover of a slam. Not even six foot tall, and he feared no man. Took a hobby and perfected it, used it to feed his fam, and got dragged through the mud for plans that they could stand. And ever since the night Mike switched hands on the Lakers, we've been on the move like bank robbers that's pulling capers. Before I was staying up late and graying papers, mama said to cut the noise away, so wake up the neighbors. Yeah, I remember it all. The summer 95, three years after the Sixers had traded Charles, we would. Pray to God for some favor to fall, maybe alter the direction of the lottery ball. On point, beating off these emotions. Heart rate bumping and bumping, just like Barkley and Moses. I'm deep and stern when I'm approaching the podium. A silence falls over the crowd at the moment they notice them. I'm from where they hold toast and argue all day about who's the GOAT. MJ, Brian, or Cole, but we rebuilt. Process, a new beginning, been a couple struggle seasons, but now my dudes is winning. We power forward, keep my guards in the center. Better stand up, do the ticket, charge like defenders. Hooping in the park until the street lights flicker. Time to route to make it home so I can eat my dinner. Mama Celeste, pizza for one, microwavable. Couldn't even touch the stove, I was probably capable. But we ain't have money for skates, rackets, and pads. But the basketball was only $20 on the app. We were splitting, no hoop, no net, no problem. Bring an empty milk crate out the bottom. Stock like nobody in my neighborhood was balling. Best friends, probably a game boy and a spalling. Scuffed up knees from glass on the court. We still rock religiously for the love of the sport. Cop an instrumental take from the African stand with nothing to gain. We were so passionate, man. Infiltrated my hood like flicker on closed campuses. Bouncing basketballs on my living room, oak paneling. Life happens, no panicking, just handle it. Three kids, two beds, low management, struggling to make it like high pressure free throws. Couldn't ask the soul for resistance, man, that's the ego. My upbringing, gunslinging, intense living. Only cat in Philly who didn't shoot was Ben Simmons. Now you know what's up. Do you know what? Never sold a drug, but do I know a plug? Give the Jordan shoulder shrug and spit. X Center, Guinness Award winner, balling repeatedly. Highlights on Sports Center. I'm balling, one day to be calling. Yeah, one day I'll be born. Yeah, they'll come calling. Yeah, they'll come calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born. One day I'll be born. One day I'll be born. Thank you. If you're a sports fan, you'll get where that came from. Huh? Huh? <laughs> ESPN. <laughs> anyway, I think that's like sports in Spanish or something. All right. Anywho, again, my name is Mega Rand. It's an honor to come before you at Zia. We're the only people in the record store. That's an amazing feeling. It's like literally being a kid in the candy store. It's pretty awesome. Um, so I want to play you one more. And this one here is about growing up as well, but uh, it's called Dream Master. This is based on a video game that I really loved a lot growing up called Little Nemo, the Dream Master. Now, Little Nemo is a really old story from like the 1920s, Winsor McKay wrote, about a child who had this amazing, vivid imagination to the point where he'd go to sleep and then he'd wake up and, well, before he woke up, 
all these vivid dreams would happen and then those things would somehow affect his reality and he would travel and he would go to all these crazy places in his mind. And, um, and that was me. I grew up in Philadelphia and um, in order to stay out of trouble, I stayed in the house, played video games and we dreamed. We dreamed big, we wrote stories, we wrote comic books, we drew. Uh, a lot of my friends, we were just, just trying to be creative as we could be. So this is a song called Dream Master. Now, normally when I do this song, I ask for call and response. But since there's like six people in here, and hopefully more than six of you watching at home, you guys can sing along. So I'm going to ask you all to help me out with the call and response. I go, hey, hey, all right. You say the all right part. I'll tell you later. Once upon a time before beats and the rhymes, before there was ever any random, there was a boy in the hood who always did good so the bullies of the block couldn't stand him. And on Christmas and birthdays, he got mad presents. So many he didn't know what to play with. He had Transformers, He-Man, Ninja Turtles, Star Wars, but the G.I. Joes were his favorite. He was so creative. If they didn't make the toy like he decided to create it, he put Storm Shadow's legs on Snake Eye's body, then they popped, and then he duct taped it. He made spaceships while the big kids hung out on the block playing hot and seeking riding bikes. He used to try to get involved, but they told him get lost. And that's when they started getting high at night. And I heard he made a friend who was sturdy as him, but he had about all he could withstand it. He collected comics, cards, studied through this whole Star Wars script like the back of his hand. And at school he made A's and B's. He just complimented his amazing feats. And all the while he wondered, if I'm so amazing, geez, why does nobody want to play with me? He said, hey, hey, all right, hey. in school, that would be a colossal understatement. He had high water pants, coke bottle frames, and a mouth full of orthodontic braces. First girlfriend was named Christina Perez. Took her everywhere. Now the boy is so cool, but she dated him on a dare. Left him standing there without a clue, man. Kids can be so cruel. At the time when they couldn't love him any less. Mother went and put the kid at any ass. Cause the best thing about me and then school and being poor was penniless. Only child didn't want an empty nest. Healthy your addiction and cigarettes. So it began. How did he escape the scene? He sat in front of that screen and he chased his dreams like hey, hey, all right, hey, hey, all right, hey, hey, all right, hey. Let me hear y'all. It goes hey, hey, all right, hey, hey. forward a couple years he gains a couple peers and sucks up game like a vacuum then he went off to college and searched for knowledge and develops the heart to make rap tunes vowed to stay true when he dropped his debut and did it's got his little name up found it took mistakes and then he drew a blank every time his second lp came up so he thought back to childhood and how he survived in such a wild hood didn't realize they didn't hate him and whatever didn't break him, that's what made him. So he decided to combine his love for games and raps, open his soul and let him in. They chopped up some eight-bit sounds, put it down, and now they call him Mega Red. And his name's all over that internet. Girls who didn't care are kind of interested. But the best part of the story comes at the end. And that part hasn't been written yet. We go, hey, hey. Also named my book that I have a memoir which is out now. I think we get it at Zia uh, and other 
places where you get books. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. It's, uh, I try to make it a light read, but um, just all about basically what that song's about. You know, just growing up, loving video games, comic books, pop culture, music, and just trying to find a way, a you know, place, in uh, you know, some footing in this uh, this crazy world. And um, we're still journeying, we're still learning. So, um, so yeah, Dream Master, that's what it's all about. Go get that book. We got time for one more, okay. All right, so this song is about being at home and really enjoying that. Um, it's something that I've come to, to kind of appreciate just in this past year or so, just being at home, you know, by force. Um, but uh, home is, is, you know, it's definitely where the heart is. It's where, where you feel loved, where you feel like you can be your full self, uh, absolutely. So to me, it's places like Zia, it's, you know, our local arcade. It's places that you can be who you are, you know, unapologetically and enjoy yourself. So this is a song about that, and it's called Home. All right, here we go. This one's going to have some beats to it, so uh, prepare your speakers. All right, here we go. I've been to London. I've been to France. I've been to Tokyo. Get the request, think of the check, and then I'm on the go. They were the ad, we pack a bag, I gotta rock the show. But wherever I go, there ain't no place like home. Starts with a book of requests. Like, Megan, can you rock a set? Well, I pass it over to Jeff. And if we like it, we give it a yes. Make sure that that was correct. And they give me the proper respect. I'm through with a vet. Well, if we connect, no worry. I'm there, no sweat. TSA pre-checking. Shoes on, I keep stepping. They just look me like my best friends. So I'm through with no questions. Load up a podcast. I'm a new tune for the flight. Got a few beats I want to write. Feeling so inspired by this life. Because I remember sitting on the block without a lot and hoping that it popped. Wishing for a shot. I ain't on top, but sometimes I still feel like a big shot home. Graham Stark on the throne like KD versus Zone like Sean Puppy Diddy Combs or whatever. Here we go. I've been to London I've been to France. I've been to Tokyo Get the request, stick at the check and then I'm on the road They been to add, we pick a bag, I gotta rock the show. But wherever I go, there ain't no place like home. No place like home. No place like home No place like home. There ain't no place like home. No place like home. No place like home, no place like home, there ain't no place like home, no place like home, no place like home, no place like home, there ain't no place like home, no place like home, no place like home, no place like home, hey, sleeping like I'm dreaming when I can't even believe it, yeah, blessings I'm receiving, constantly keeping me leaving, yeah, reason that when you be seeing me, I'm always cheesing, yeah, even when I know the feeling is fleeing, man, I don't be needing the reason what's better than home. And they say it's where the heart is, where they gonna love you regardless. Staying with you through the hardships. Yep, where it all started. I got a new bed, and honestly, it's kind of comfortable. I don't like getting up, so if I'm picking up, you best believe that it better be wonderful. Like Paul Orndorff and shiny ropes, but I never need designer clothes. I'm in sweats when it's time to go. Comic-Cons, it was comical. Long time ago, now I'm home. It could be Austin, could be Seattle, could be Boston, but Phoenix, Arizona. So, traveling is where I'm lost. <laughs> they can pick up the lectures with energy. I look at my schedule and I think, man, you have got to be kidding me. How do we do it? We don't really know. How about I blank to the gun on the shelf? Is it the accolades? Is it the dough? Is the rushes you get when you feel it? You know, place like home. No place like home. No place like home. No place like home. There ain't no place like home. No place like home. No place like home. No place like home. There ain't no place like home. No place like home. No place like home. No place like home. There ain't no place like home. No place like it. No place like it. No place like it. I've been to London. I've been to France. I've been to Tokyo. Get a request, they get a check, and then I'm on the road. They run an ad, we back a bag, I gotta rock the show. But wherever I go, there ain't no place like home. 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 No place like home. No place like home. If there ain't no place like home, and there ain't no place like home. Home is where the heart is. It's where you feel loved, where you feel respected, 
where you feel honored, where you feel cherished, where you feel accepted, most importantly. So, I want to thank you for just for this few minutes coming home with us to see you Records. Peace! Yeah. Yeah. So this is Live 95. Welcome to 1995. Yeah, yeah. My hero wore a blowout on the cover of Slam, not even six foot tall.